Alright, hello once again everyone. It is I, LBG, back with yet another Monsters of Etheria video. This time around, it's Thursday night instead of a Saturday morning. Crazy stuff. But for this time around, actually, we have the Halloween event this year, which gives 11 new Eerie skins as of part 1. Part 2 will be bringing in 6 more Eerie skins as well as event exclusive items. Right now, the only skins that are available is Elitoid, Chamber, Huskot, Duron, and Spectrability, which I do not have yet because I have not used the potion on myself. But, of course, I will be getting that skin later. Alright, now to begin our skin collecting quest. First thing you want to do, I'm going to go in order of what I believe to be the easiest to the most annoying, basically. So, first one is how to get Eerie Huskot. You want to grab five pumpkins that grow in the farm patches here. Just walk up to the pumpkin and harvest it. You're going to make sure you need to get five. Then what you want to do is you want to make your way down into the jungle to find one of the machete crafting locations. And here is one of the machete crafting locations right next to the power plant. You're going to want to open up your crafting menu. You will have the jack-o'-lantern recipe. And you will, of course, need to create five jack-o'-lanterns. And after you do that, you will get the eerie husk up. Pretty much the same exact task that you had to do to get normal Huskot, but this time it's pumpkins instead of coconuts. And that is how you get Eerie Huskot. Now this one's going to be a little bit hard to explain without the visuals showing you what you have to do, but pretty much in order to get Eerie Chamber, what you're going to need to do is continue just burning down trees, just burn down a bunch of trees and eventually a notification will pop up in the chat saying that an Ethereum has been awoken in the forest. That Ethereum is the Eerie Chamber, and what you're going to want to look for is this Ethereum. I will throw up an image on the screen. You're going to want to look for that, run into it, and collect it. It basically works like a roaming to where only one person can collect it. Of course, if you already have the Eerie Chamber, you cannot collect it again and end up trolling other players. And yeah, that's all you gotta do. Burn down some trees, wait for the thing to spawn in, and hope that you're the first one to get it. Now, the next skin is Eerie Spectrability. You're gonna need to find this cauldron here, which will unlock the Potion of Instability craft. But, you realize, oh no. I need a brewing manual. Well, how do you get the brewing manual? Well, you're going to need to make your way to the Haunted Mansion. Now, in order to find the brewing manual, the brewing manual is found inside of the Haunted Mansion's kitchen. You're going to need to do all the puzzly fun stuff in order to actually open up this door to the kitchen. But, you'll make your way into the kitchen and right over here on top of this bigger gray pipe will be the brewing manual so you just want to of course press e and you'll collect it and now that you have your brewing manual you are now able to craft the potion of instability and in order to get said potion of instability you are going to need one bone bones are gotten only by defeating other players whether that be in private matches or just out in the wild if you ever need an easy way to get bones i would recommend getting a friend to help you out or hopping on an alt account on another device and just continue defeating each other until you get the amount of bones that you need and then for a that was an accident and then for a vial of venom you are going to need to find an empty vial which can be found in the barrels around the map and then what you do with the vial is you take that vial, you go into the dark facility, and pop, there's a map. You're going to want to go to this location over here. There is venom, and then you want to take the venom and put it into the vial. You got yourself a vial of venom. Then for the cactus flowers, that one's pretty simple. All you need to do is have a water type move or the move sweet scent and use it on one of the cactuses around in the desert 
wait for the flowers to grow on it and simply harvest one. And then lastly, a wisp of life essence are those little red orbs that are found inside of the caves. You just want to walk in the one and collect them. It'll take a little bit of damage, but as long as you have full health, which you probably do, you should be fine. Then after you collect up all those four items and you have the brewing manual, you can craft the potion of instability, but that is not all that you have to do. Once you have said potion of instability, whoops, I paused. I accidentally paused the video there. Anyways, once you have the potion of instability, which I, okay, there it is. The potion of instability, you're going to want to use it on yourself and then you will get the eerie spectrability skin. Now, next thing you're gonna want to do, now that you have gotten at the least three of those eerie skins, you might have gotten Huskot, Chamber, or Spectrability, and you might wanna make your way over to Autumn here, who's found in town behind the big red shop. You're gonna want to talk to her, and you want to be using either a spooky, scary, or eerie skinned Ethereum, which will end up scaring Autumn. And then what she'll do is she'll give you the hollow spell book. And with that hollow spell book, you can go once again back to the haunted manor and you're going to need to find a little ritual area. The amount of times that I have joked about rituals in this game and now there's a second ritual in the game, now that I think about it, this is actually the second ritual in the game. That's, that's, that's a little, that's one too many. Now what you want to do is you want to find the ritual which can be found on the left side of the haunted mansion over here. It is very hard to miss. I mean, look at this thing, it's huge. You can only use this ritual area at night. If you are going to try and do it in the daytime, it will not work. It has to be nighttime. Anyways, it'll give you two options. Do you want to summon Durom or do you want to summon Elatoid? For now, we're going to do Durom because Elatoid is a little bit more complicated. For Durom, it says you need 15 bones, which I already mentioned. In order to get bones, you're going to need to defeat other players, whether that be in private matches or just normally around the map. And again, I would recommend getting a friend, defeating each other, helping each other out and getting some bones, or getting on an alt account and just doing it like that. And if I could go back into the thing again, or it will not let me. Okay, it seems to have broken, cool. Well anyways, you need soul fragments as well, and to get soul fragments, those are gotten from the wandering Elatoid spirits in the power plant, which is that area next to the jungle. Again, that is another thing that only p appears at night. You're going to need to run into the wandering Elatoid spirits. They will take out like a quarter of your health, and you're going to need five of them, so you're probably going to have to die at least once if you want to get all five. But after you get all five, then you're good there. And then horn fossils, those can be found in the desert vases, aka the desert that's conveniently right over there. You want to use a dash type move like rapid spin or bash or tackle and crash into the vases and you'll have a chance of getting the horn fossil. Um, I can't exactly pop up the menu again because it seems to have broken for me, but yeah, once you get the 15 bones, 5 soul fragments, and a horn fossil, as well as the hollow spell book from Autumn. It needs to be nighttime, of course, so remember that. And then you go into the spell circle, you click on Durham. Yes, this is very satanic, I do agree. Anyways, you click on Durham, it'll tell you what you need, click summon, and you will get the spooky not spooky, eerie Durham. And last but not least, man, this is a long video. You are going to need to find five pieces of eerie elatoid. And in order to do that, you're gonna first need to find a shovel. The shovel can be found right here on this tree in the graveyard, as well as one of the dirt mound locations that you're gonna need to be looking for a lot more. 
just press E, examine the thing, and you'll get one of the parts. I don't really remember what parts are in what mounds. There's parts in them. Yeah, this is one of the mounds you're going to want to look for. The next dirt mound is found in Phoenix Gaze Village, right next to the Sword in Stone. Of course, just follow down the path by the church, and you will dig up this mound with the shovel. The next dirt mound, although this time around it's not dirt, it is indeed snow, is up on top in the snowy village over here. The very miscolored mound of snow. You want to dig that up and get yet another piece of the eerie alatoid. The next mound of dirt you might have noticed earlier in this video. Um, it is right here. The power plant is right there. You just want to pretty much walk forward from the entrance of the power plant. And the next mound of dirt will be found, if I could zoom in, found right here. Now the last dirt mound, and this time around, another comedic joke, is actually a sand mound, which can be found in this abandoned little hut, this uh, Cheeto dust mound in the sand. For perspective's purposes, that is the temple right there, the entrance. Walking out of the entrance, you go right down into here, and right here is the last mound that you're going to be looking for. And now, we just make our way back to the Haunted Mansion in this wonderfully laggy desert, because my laptop is an absolute potato. Now, once you've made your way back to the Haunted Mansion and back to the Spell Circle that I forgot the name of this entire time and kept calling it a ritual area, it's a Spell Circle. Anyways, once you make your way back to the Spell Circle with all five pieces of the Eerie Alatoid, the torso, heart, brain, right arm, and left arm, as well as a wisp of life bet, life essence, you will want to summon the eerie alatoid in this, uh, I already forgot the name of it again, uh, anyways, ritual area, and you will get the eerie alatoid. Um, I don't think I ever actually mentioned that you need a wisp of life essence for this one. I think I did. Either way, yeah, you need a wisp of life essence, which, again, a wisp of life essence if you want to get one of those, it's the little red circles found in the caves. And yeah, after you get all five body parts, Wisp of Life Essence, put them all together in some weird jump gumbly gook, uh, summon the thing satanically, and boom, eerie elatoid. And with that, that should be all the skins for part one of this year's Halloween event. And of course, now we move on to the showcase. Starting off here with Eerie Elatoid, a little zombie, sickly looking version of Elatoid, which can evolve into Gorian at level 45 and Electris at level 45. I will be mutating into Electris. This is Eerie Electris, basically just the same zombie aesthetic. And for Eerie Gurian, there is an image of it up on the screen. I really like these skins. The next skin is Eerie Spectrability, another lovely little skin, mutating into Lock Spectre at level 70. And here we have Eerie Chamber, which technically I already showed off in this video once because of showing off what the thing looks like in order to see what you're looking for. But anyways, Eerie Chamber. Next skin is Eerie Huscott. Mutating into Snap Palm at level 30. Mutating into Cocolossus at level 55. And last but not least, we have Eerie Durham. Mutating into Ramp Rant at level 26. Mutating into Savagar at level 52. And with 
with that, that is the end of this video. Now you know how to get Eerie Alatoid, Spectrability, Chamber, Huskot, and Durham. And of course, I will be coming back for part 2 of this event, showing off the 6 other skins as well. That will be releasing somewhere between the dates of October 29th and October 31st, so somewhere between next Thursday to next Saturday. And with that, my name's Ilv, and I will see you again later.